Ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not ready. Hello. Hello. Hi, Gavin. Emily. Senor Gavin McGinnis, thank you for being on the show, sir. Hello! It seems like feminism has said, women, you're freed from the kitchen, and then it took them out of the frying pan into the fire, and they're just sitting in a filthy apartment, eating takeout food, getting used and abused by men. I've always said New York City is an elephant's graveyard for ovaries because women come here thinking it's empowered to get fucked by tons of guys and then thrown in the trash. <laughs> it's, that's the thing about all this feminism. Story. Men win. With free love and bra burning, we got tons of sex and jiggly tits. Here's something you should understand about men. We have evolved over all these years to be horny 24 hours a day and be thinking of sex 24 hours a day. It's... It's a curse when you're in your teens because you are honestly on the verge of tears begging God to let you stop beating off. It's been six times. <laughs> I, is there something I can eat to be less horny? I mean, women weren't even allowed to call it vibrators a generation ago. It was a mas massage tool. Now you go, there's a sex store every fucking 20 feet. <laughs> you can get the pearl <laughs> rabbit chicks to keep them in their purses. Shit, yeah. half the time they have one in them right now. <laughs> That's not true. No, but it, it, it does happen. You do get those ones that stay up there, and it takes like 20 hours to get an orgasm. You just be, you know, having your Cobb salad and going, oh. Can't wait to, to like find out that she took money from Saudi Arabia and other countries that treat women horribly. Here now with Reaction, author of The Death of Cool, Gavin McGinnis, Fox News contributor, Tamara is back. I, I, there's a part of me that says, oh, I love Hillary, I love Hillary. Oh, yes, we can, Obama. There's like, liberals are, are sort of like zombies. They repeat what they hear and they know, they, why did they say they'll vote for somebody and know nothing about the candidate? That infuriates me because they can cancel out my vote. Why do you actually believe the, the Washington free banana peel whatever group that did this, this search on Hillary Clinton? It's actually true. No, it's not true. It's a far-right group that took the data and manipulated it to support their position. By the way, is, Obama does the same this, thing and pays less. Is this where you guys less. now get your information? Washington Free Beacon or whatever? They're the ones, anything that's reported Hillary Clinton did this, did that, there's, there's absolutely Tamara. no evidence Tamara. of this, and it's just not true. It actually is true. No, it's not. Washington Gavin. Free Banana Peel is not a legitimate It'd be the organization. the Washington Free Beacon, which is a legitimate newspaper. Yes, but it's right Look, there's different ways to look at the data, but the big picture here is women do earn less in America because they choose to. They would rather go to their daughter's piano recital than stay all night at work working on a, a, a you know, proposal. What? So they end up earning less. They're less ambitious. And I think this is sort of God's way. This is nature's way of saying women should be at home with the kids. Are They're you, happier there. I, I hope that your viewers do not take you sir seriously there's a great book because you should read it's called why men earn more and it's all about women choosing to put family over work and that's why they earn ha less. having a choice does not mean that you're less ambitious and your comments are absolutely deplorable sean i would like less you less ambitious in the world i would like you to adjust it I would, you're, you're a father you have a daughter heroes. if you were a real feminist you would support housewives and see them as the heroes you and women who work wasting their time you said that women are less ambitious women are you less have ambitious said, you have also said that women are better suited in the home. Yes, You've that's also a fact. said that, uh, let's see, that women are emotional and women shouldn't run for public office. <laughs> All of these things that just I are never said women shouldn't run for yes, public you office. Have. You've said if we're that talking before. about 50% of the population, generally out of this 250 million people or, or 150 million people, most women are happier at home. They are pretending that they like working and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't am work I all here? weekend. I'm You're making a mistake. Here? You would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Oh. Oh boy! Oh! I mean, boy. I'm I'm literally. Oh. You just said you're single. Oh. You don't have a boyfriend. You what? That's you're celibate. That's my choice. Yeah. Look, you're miserable. You would be so much happier with oh. kids around you tonight. <laughs> Imagine coming home. Mommy's home. You're you just, you, you, you know you what, wanna... Gavin? You're you're not funny. <laughs> You're not what you not you do not do anything. I'm trying to make you happy. You do not do anything for the better. Sean, this yes, isn't funny. Feminism has made this... women miserable. Women were much happier when there were when housewives were glorified. Yeah, I, guess what? I had right, a choice it. to be married, and Get I chose Tamara. not to. Right, I have a choice up. to have kids. You made a mistake. Tamara, we'll give you the last word. Go ahead. 
I think that your guest here is doing a disservice to all of the viewers to and to do, doing a disservice to America by saying that women, that I need to be married, that I would be happier would be at happier home. Married. That you're what miserably married just because no, just ecstatic. having a I'm ring trying on, to share my joy I, you should see my little not two-year-old everybody He's has the same life the life pattern as you I okay know, it's the fall and not everybody wants to marry somebody in a, a, in a bootleg seersucker suit and go home to that I don't want to go home to that you don't have to go home to me go home to a hunk <laughs> oh gosh Jesus I don't this know. is absolutely disgusting and Sean I, you I should actually speak you up do. for the viewers today and I, let them know I that think, I think your daughter should have a choice I think I think women do have, have a choice. choice absolutely of course no one's saying women that. shouldn't have a choice right, when we come back we need your help our question of the day is straight ahead and I'm sure this will continue so the reason whites are doing well is because we cheated yeah but if you look at the data of Asians for example you will find way more Asian privilege than there is white privilege. Asians make way more money than whites. They're way more educated than whites. They are less likely to experience any kind of crime than whites are. They're less likely to die at work than whites are. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah, they suffer from a different sort of um, racial stereotyping. Well, they don't suffer. They're kicking her ass. Asian, everything you can say about white privilege is more true with Asian privilege. Asian privilege, I wouldn't call it Asian privilege. Well, it fits all the criteria of white male privilege. What do you mean by that? Uh, they get better jobs. They get better educations. They don't. No one sees them as threatening. Uh, everything that you can say that whites mm. cheated to get is pr more prevalent in an Asian society. Okay, let's drop yeah. that. I guess it's not going anywhere. I have a thought experiment here. Okay. Imagine. If you, okay, if you don't think, yeah, thank you, Gavin, for getting ready for this. If you don't think biology matters, what if this were the reverse? That for the last couple of thousand years, only women fought the wars? And then suddenly in the 21st century, we go, you know what? We should let men get involved in the wars. And, the, and it's a gender with 50% more muscle mass and a ton more testosterone. So all of a sudden, women are like, whoa, this is weird. This is exactly what's happening in the MMA. If a fighter... A male fighter has a sex change and fights. The female fighters are like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this because it's unfair. Now they're talking about maybe we have to adjust the hormone levels mm -hmm. so, the, so women and men can fight equally. So that's an interesting way to look at it that perhaps makes no sense whatsoever. Well, in, in your experiment, if we're going to do that, we'll have to talk to President Hitler. Because <laughs> if women were soldiers for the past hundred years, we would have lost World War II. We probably like wouldn't Goldie have been Hawn. embroiled in <laughs> half as many wars, which is another good Ooh. point. Women are not naturally war makers as That's are untrue. many men. What about pagan days? All you guys were doing was sacrificing no, 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 babies and sneakier. virgins. But, you know, you were right, horrible with Sneaky women. tactics. But just because women are That's drafted also doesn't yeah. necessarily mean they're going to the front lines in mm -hmm. combat. As you know, as Joe pointed out, like there's many, there's millions of different roles they can serve in the military. It doesn't mean they have to be combat officers. They can be the leaders for the soldiers. There's a lot of they're There's looking a... after <laughs> soldiers' kids, yeah. keeping the home nice. But then men could be cheerleaders too, right? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. You need <laughs> someone at the bottom of the pyramid. Exactly. So. They need those guys at the bottom. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. I think it's great. I think that, you know what it is? It, it, it's like you said, uh, feminists want total equality. This is total equality. Yeah. Equality sucks. By every metric, men have it worse off. We're more likely to get raped if you include prison. We're more likely to be assaulted. We're more likely to die. We're more likely to commit suicide. And so you're if not you want to come over to our side, of it, <laughs> then get ready for some rough times. I will dispute the the rape part, but I will say that <laughs> industrial accidents true. People who build bridges generally are men, and they often fall off them. I get that. You know that happens, and war that happens. So I guess you know total equality means there'll be more industrial accidents. And yeah, more great work out. Right, because you're not as smart or as good looking as women as a whole. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. we, are, so we, are, we are smarter and dumber than women. Yes, uh -huh. that's true. The is much wider. We have a wide variety. You guys are more sort of like a little bit dumb, a little bit smart. We're <laughs> total morons and geniuses. There is like, we have a huge spectrum. Yeah. I like us. We're very underrated as men. <laughs> yes. well, well, some men are. <laughs> I don't know what you'd be rated as at the columnist Gavin McGinnis, Deirdre Imus, the co-host of Fox and Friends First. Ainsley, who went down upon Panama City Beach, Florida, is uh, here with us for this report. All right, so we, I lived in Santa Barbara, Isla Vista. They like, it's a 60 retro. At, mm -hmm. you, you see Santa Barbara. 
and like they celebrate the burning of the bank that took place in the 60s. Mm -hmm. right. It's a big holiday down there. This doesn't surprise me, but this is another level of what happens during spring break. Well, this is what the sheriff down in Panama City said. This is the reason they don't go out on the beach and patrol the beaches as much because they're scared that this will happen. He says all it takes is just a few seconds for all of these kids to have this riot and gang up against these officers. You have kids that slap and punch the officers and run away, and they don't know where these kids where these kids went. Or it could even be worse. They could pull out a weapon. Well, now one cop in particular was hurt. Yeah, severely. we had there were there were five deputies that were injured. Um, one was hit in the face with a brick. The most severe was a university police officer. He was hit in the head with a backpack mm -hmm. that was full of large bottles of liquor and alcohol wow. and uh, face gashed. You know, it's, yeah. it's very dangerous. Flying rocks, bottles, bricks, street signs, you see that in the video being knocked down, small fires, and officers go in to try to break it up, and then there's, there's a riot. 15,000 kids, Sean. Yeah, and just descending on Santa Barbara, Isla right. Vista, in that area. Yeah. Oh, it's right around the UC Santa Barbara exactly. campus. Exactly, it's most of those kids. Uh, you see this, you know, one of the things that kept coming up last week when we were doing this, this story was why do parents allow their kids to go? They don't only let them go, they facilitate it. They pay the money to go to Cancun, Florida, in this case, California. Why would parents do that? Well, they're raising brats and spoiled brats, that is, because, again, and you've been doing great coverage on this. I watched all of it last week. And when you guys cover this, it's amazing. You're right. Would you pay for? I'm, no. I'm not going to pay for my kid to go no down way. to spring break to just drink and do drugs. I'm not, I mean, I don't you even, even drink. Let, you won't even let your kid eat a cheeseburger, so I mean, no, I <laughs> and I also don't drink. And so a lot of that comes yeah. from parents. If your parents are sitting home drinking, and a lot of these mothers do party with their kids now, you see this in high school even. Yeah. And so a lot of these parents, if you look at the parents, they That's drink where with this their comes kids. From. They smoke pot They're with drinking. their kids. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's a huge problem now because they want to be the kid's friend rather than be the parent. I agree with you. Well, yeah. Let's not pretend we can control kids. These are adults, and if they want to sneak off to what is essentially a drunken orgy, then you can pretend you can control them. You can withhold the money, but you work at a gas station, ten shifts. You got enough to go down. All what I, I got in a lot of trouble the other day for simply saying a hypothetical scenario. Your son and your daughter, on their own accord, snuck down to what is essentially a drunken orgy. Who are you more worried about? And you're obviously more worried about your daughter. But this has become a sexist thing to say. Well, hang on. I actually have those comments because you created a bit of a firestorm. Mm -hmm. All weekend long, people have been commenting about it. Let's, let's go back to the video. This was our audience edition show on Friday, and this is what Gavin said. Oh. My daughter, there's no way in hell she's going there. But with my sons, I hope they have a great time. And oh, boy. Boys with women. Alcohol poisoning. Oh, yeah. Boys One can a wind year. Up in a hospital that bed. happens everywhere. That's youth. Getting pregnant <laughs> is much more harmful <laughs> than having some <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> sex Hot and getting stars. mugged. The women there what? are human garbage whose Go parents on. don't love them. Oh, you, oh, nice jacket, Gavin. Where'd you get that? <laughs> oh, Gavin, God. that's going to backfire on you because those same guys that are going down to spring break and learning how to do that, they're the ones that are going to date your daughters. Yes. So you don't want them to have this, this type of a See, reputation. See, this is the problem with all this big picture talk. Like, we're all Stalin and we can control the universe. Spring break is going on, okay? Promiscuous sex is going on. The idea of consensual sex down there is a wash. It's a gray area. Now, if whoa, a whoa, boy, what mean, wait, what do you mean by that? Why, what when do you mean a woman it? has had ten beers shotgun down her throat, then she. Whoa, whoa. So she, you think it's okay that then it's not rape or sexual assault? And you think it's okay to send your sons that's down what's there? Happening. The males are sexually assaulting. Yes. The females. Well, wait, 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 wait. If a girl, if a woman chooses to drink all of that, assuming she's making the choice to funnel that beer, right. and she goes back to this guy's hotel room, right. and they hook up, this you're is calling... What everyone says, everyone goes, what about the sons? Is Your sons are out there to... raping well, chicken. First of all, if it's easier for people to think about, focus on the 100 milers that you talked about who come in from out of town. You sent your daughter into an area where people, dr the dregs of society, are coming in from 100 miles away and preying on these wasted girls. What? Now, yes, sons are having sex with women that is in a gray area of consensual. That's not great, I'm not bananas about that. But the son doing that is a very unfortunate, gross, sad, pathetic thing. A daughter doing that? Oh my God, it's the end of the universe. She can get pregnant. So you say there's a double yeah, standard. Yeah, or the You're male well, There is a double standard. It's called different genitalia. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, the male. Where's the male? The male has to impregnate her, of Gavin. Of course, You're like but one is worse that. than the other. You're the one missing stuff. But those are the kind of guys, when I was single, I avoided when I was dating. Yes, because try I didn't avoiding want them, to them have... after 14 beers.
Well, I wouldn't put myself in that situation. You know what? That's I, what I'm screaming. Because I had a father and a mother that taught me. We all me have not fathers and mothers. You know the kind of crazy, stupid stuff but, we all did as teenagers? Yeah, but Ainsley, I know, but Gavin, Gavin, it's different now. It's so different yes, now. Yes, that's I also was... my point. These kids grew up with porn. Third base, yeah. if any of us saw what third base is today, we would have to wash our eyeballs for a fortnight. Part of it, yes, you say you didn't do that and wouldn't do that, but... All right, I let, me, get, let me move on really quick. I, I went to spring break, but I didn't see what I saw in Panama City and the stories I heard from the police officers happening on the beaches of America. Exactly. I had never seen footage like that. Right. That's the difference. It's happening. It's happening. Social happening. media. They, and the kids don't seem to right. care. Right. They don't, don't care at all. We have, we, have, we have, like, a minute and a half left. Let me go quickly to the Oscar uh, Pistorius trial. He took the stand today. I want to get your reaction to this. Watch. Title, then stay all night at work working on a, a, a you know proposal. What? So they end up earning less. They're less ambitious. And I think this is sort of God's way. This is nature's way of saying women should be at home with the kids. Are They're you, happier there. I, I hope that your viewers do not take you sir seriously there's a great book because... you should read it's called why men earn more and it's all about women choosing to put family over work and that's why they earn less. having a choice does not mean that you're less ambitious and your comments are absolutely deplorable sean i would like less you less ambitious in the world i would like to you to adjust it I would, you're, you're a father you have a daughter heroes. if you were a real feminist you would support housewives and see them as the heroes you and women who work wasting their time you said that women are less ambitious women are you less have ambitious said, you have also said Work. That women are better suited in the home. Yes, you've that's also a fact. said that. Uh, let's see, that women are emotional, and women shouldn't run for public office. <laughs> All of these things that just. I never are said absolutely... women shouldn't run for yes, public you office. Yes, you have. You've said that If we're that talking before. about fifty percent of the population, generally out of this two hundred and fifty million people, or, or one hundred and fifty million people, most women are happier at home. They are pretending that they like working, and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't work all here? weekend. I'm you're making a mistake. Here. You would be much happier. Your anyway. daughter should have a choice. I think, I think women do have, have a choice. choice. Absolutely, of course. No one's saying that women that. shouldn't have a choice. Right, when we come back, we need your help. Our question of the day is straight ahead, and I'm sure this will continue. So the reason whites are doing well is because we cheated. Yeah. But if you look at the data of Asians, for example, you will find way more Asian privilege than there is white privilege. Asians make way more money than whites. They're way more educated than whites. They are less likely to experience any kind of crime than whites are. They're less likely to die at work than whites are. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah, they suffer from a different sort of um, racial stereotyping. Well, they don't suffer. They're kicking her ass. Asian, everything you can say about white privilege is more true with Asian privilege. Asian privilege, I wouldn't call it Asian privilege. Well, it fits but... all the criteria of white male privilege. What do you mean by that? Uh, they get better jobs. They get better educations. They don't, no one sees them as threatening. Uh, everything that you can say that whites mm -hmm. cheated to get is pr more prevalent in an Asian society. Okay, let's drop that. I guess it's not going anywhere. I have a thought experiment here. Okay. Imagine if you, okay, if you don't think, yeah, thank you, Gavin, for getting ready for this. If you don't think biology matters, what if this were the reverse? That for the last couple of thousand years. You're at home with a husband and children. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I mean, boy. I'm, I'm literally oh. shaking. You just said you're single. Oh. You don't have a boyfriend. You're what, That's you're celibate? That's my choice. Yeah, look, you're miserable. You would be so much happier with oh. kids around you tonight. <laughs> Imagine coming home, mommy's home. You're you, the, are you, you know you what, are... Gavin? You're you're not funny. You're not what you I'm not you do not to be funny. do anything. I'm trying to make you happy. You do not do anything for the better. Sean, this yes, is funny. Feminism has made this... women miserable. Women were much happier when there were when housewives were glorified. I, guess what? I had right, a choice it. to be married and Get I chose not to. Well, I have a choice up. to have kids. You made a mistake. We'll give you the last word. Go ahead. I think that your guest here is doing a disservice to all of the viewers to and to do, doing a disservice to America by saying that women, that I need to be married, that I would be happier would be at home. Happier married. That you're, what, miserably married? Just because no, I'm just ecstatic. having a I'm ring I'm trying on... to share my joy. I, you should see my little two-year-old. Not two -year -old. everybody He's has the same life, the life pattern as you, okay? I know, it's the fall And not of everybody wants to marry somebody in a, in a bootleg seersucker suit and go home to that. I don't want to go home to that. You don't have to go home to me. Go home to a hunk.
<laughs> oh gosh. Jesus. I don't this know. is absolutely disgusting. And Sean, I, you I should actually speak you up do. for the viewers today uh, and I, let them know I that. Think I think 20 hours to get an orgasm. You can just be, you know, having your cob salad and going, oh. Can't wait to until they find out that she took money from Saudi Arabia and other countries that treat women horribly. Here now with reaction, author of The Death of Cool, Gavin McGinnis, Fox News contributor, Tamara is back. I, I, there's a part of me that says, oh, I love Hillary. I love Hillary. Oh, yes, we can. Obama. There's like liberals are, are sort of like zombies. They repeat what they hear and they know. They, why did they say they'll vote for somebody and know nothing about the candidate? That infuriates me because they can cancel out my vote. Why do you actually believe the, the Washington free banana peel whatever group that did this, this search on Hillary Clinton? It's actually true. No, it's not true. It's a far right group that took the data and manipulated it to support their position. By the way, Who Obama is, does the is same this, thing. Is and this pays where less. you guys now get your information? Washington Free Beacon or whatever? They're the ones. Anything that's reported Hillary Clinton did this, did that. There's, there's absolutely Tamara. no evidence Tamara. of this, and it's just not true. It actually is true. No, it's not. Washington Gavin. Free Banana Peel is not a legitimate It'd be the organization. the Washington Free Beacon, which is a legitimate newspaper. Yes, but it's Gavin, look, there's different ways to look at the data, but the big picture here is women do earn less in America because they choose to. They would rather go to their daughter's piano. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> not ready. Hello. Hello. Hi, Gavin. Emily. Senor Gavin McGinnis, thank you for being on the show, sir. Hello! It seems like feminism has said, women, you're freed from the kitchen, and then it took them out of the frying pan into the fire, and they're just sitting in a filthy apartment, eating takeout food, getting used and abused by men. I've always said New York City is an elephant's graveyard for ovaries, because women come here thinking it's empowered to get fucked by tons of guys and then thrown in the trash. <laughs> It's, that's the thing that's about all this feminism. Story. Men win. With free love and bra burning, we got tons of sex and jiggly tits. Here's something you should understand about men. We have evolved over all these years to be horny 24 hours a day and be thinking of sex 24 hours a day. It's, it's a curse when you're in your teens because you are honestly on the verge of tears begging God to let you stop beating off. It's been six times. <laughs> I, is there something I can eat to be less horny? I mean, women weren't even allowed to call it vibrators a generation ago. It was a massage tool. Now you go, there's a sex store every fucking 20 feet. <laughs> you can get the pearl <laughs> rabbit chicks to keep them in their purses. Shit, yeah. half the time they have one in them right now. <laughs> That's not true. No, but it, it, it does happen. <laughs> you do get those ones that stay up there and it takes like...